guys, uh, welcome to Revan Auto 717. It's finally nice out here. It's a nice uh, warm 48 degrees. Um, the last week or so it's been in the single digits, so it's really nice to uh, have a little warm snap here. Um, and then behind me, you can see I'm gonna be working on my truck today a little bit. Um, I am hoping to at least get things started on the snorkel. I know I did a, a little um, video on that and I will plug that in right here um, probably a bit up in the corner to show you if you want to see that one first uh, me unboxing it so I'm gonna try to install it on my truck today um, we'll see how it goes um, I know that um, I'm gonna have to do a lot of modding to make it fit um, it was originally for a Toyota Land Cruiser I think um, just if memory serves me right so and you can see my trucks really dirty I was over at my buddy's a lot and he has a gravel driveway and I was messing around in the field so um, good times good times so uh, but anyways I'm gonna try to work on this and you can see I still have the uh, American flag it is still holding up really well it's probably been uh, three four weeks since I have had it on um, I highly recommend it um, it looks really really nice I get a lot of compliments on it so I will put a link in the description for that as well um, and I have a video of me installing that and boxing it and all that good stuff. So um, I will also add that in this uh, video as well. So um, further ado, we're going to start working on this thing and uh, get it back mocked up. I know I did it in the other video, but I'm going to mock it back up and uh, start uh, drilling some holes. So let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, so this is basically everything I got. The only thing I am missing is the piece that clamps to the uh, intake side. And there's a little piece of uh, tubing. Um, I'm not going to need any of that, so I'm not going to show it in this video, but uh, here's actually um, where all the holes are going to go, so I'm going to have to lay this on my um, fender um, and have to cut all these out um, to get this to fit, and the, it's just kind of a, so there's about four mounting uh, locations that I'm going to do, and then there's a three up here that's going to mount to the door, so this this I might have to bend and change and make it work but it shouldn't be too bad and it did come with all all hardware and everything so which makes it really nice so i mean it has a bunch of hardware in there to use so i think i should be pretty good with getting this all to line up good so um i just might have to do some uh minor uh massaging on this to make it clear the door um as i know i noted before the doors on these there's no it's a whole one piece. So as you can see that this is all um, separate. The door includes the uh, the trim up here. So I'm just gonna have to make sure that that clears when you open the door up on this side. And then also that the, shouldn't have any problems, but just make sure that the windshield wiper clears as well, which I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with that. So I'm gonna get all this stuff and I'm gonna mock this up to the side and uh, try to see where everything needs to be laid out. So uh, I'm gonna probably set you up on my tripod if I only got one. So I'm gonna set you up and I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can. Hey guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of put this up here and just use a Sharpie and try to trace around. My main concern is getting this, getting this circle right and then I can worry about these later. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna try to mop this up here basically like this and then just make sure everything looks like it's going to clear and then just test the door and make sure that everything looks like it's going to clear Basically just do something like this, that way I have the, the least the markings around it. So I got that. So now I'm going to take the template, I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut up the, the template, put it on here, and then I'm going to try to orient where the other holes need to be. And then I'll have to take my inner fender liner out and see if I can get up in there and for the bolts and all that stuff. And then see if I can put that on and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I just got this cut out. I actually cut out the hole as well. Um, I'm just going to try to tape this up a little bit better. 
like this. I just need to get the correct orientation before I put this down too much. So I'm going to put this back up where this was at. And then try to eyeball the orientation, which is going to be really fun. Actually, I was just thinking that I could come towards the door quite a bit. So I'm going to try to move this over some. Let's see how that looks. Something like that'll work right there. So Then use my marker. Take this out. So I got that traced out. And then these holes I will have to put in yet. So the more I'm thinking about this, the more I'm thinking maybe it'd be better to cut this out here and then get this taken off. If you can see this, get this taken off right here, just zap it off and then I can mount this flush to it. Make sure that this is going to be right because I really don't want to screw up the side of my truck. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I'm going to buzz this off quick do that and I'll come back and I'll show you what I uh, come up with and uh, hopefully it turns out good so okay so um, I was I have this marked off here um, and I want to just check to make sure I can get to all these before I start cutting so I'm gonna take this uh, inner fender liner completely off and we will uh, see what's up in here and uh, do that so I'm gonna take this get these off Sure they've got everything adjusted. My ratchet. I do have the uh, large fender mod. Um, I did that, and when I put these tires on and they still rub and I am debating right now to um, get some um, different fenders the uh, I can show you a picture of what those are but they basically I could they would be uh, fiberglass I think they're from fiberworks and I could basically cut these all the way back and do a really large fender mod because my uh, it's my future goals is to uh, See if I can put 37s on this with the size lift I have right now. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to do a, I'm putting new front and rear bumpers on it. Um, but that'll be down the road. So I'm going to continue working on here. Will that give me nothing? It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to uh, do what I said I wanted to do here without doing some major uh, cutting out here, which sucks. I'll take the camera here. So my thought was, uh, obviously, we were going to drill holes in here and then put bolts on the back side to uh, fasten them. Um, and I know I, I don't think I can get them in from inside there. 
So I was gonna see if I could get him in here, but obviously this is all covered up. So next I'm gonna try to see, which I should have done in the first place, but I didn't. Let's see if popping the hood and seeing if there is a possibility. Probably gonna have to move the battery if, to do it, but which is a chore in itself. And no, it does not look like I will be able to get to that. My battery's jacked up there, but crap. So back to the drawing board on that one. So I'm gonna have to figure out some, another way to uh, fasten this piece on here. I'm gonna probably just continue removing this and uh, seeing if I can either cut this out a little bit to uh, get it, uh, access to it or uh, see what I'm gonna have to do. So I'll uh, touch base with you in a little bit and while I get all this done and uh, see what okay, I guys. come up with. So I just cut a hole out in there. Um, I was using some of that and then I just broke out the, uh, the cutoff wheel. So I got that all cut off um, and then I just sprayed some paint around it just to keep it from rusting and I can reach my hand up in there and I can get uh, this this one and this one and this one is gonna be very very difficult to get to so might not be able to get to that one but we will see uh, hopefully these three will hold it and then obviously I'm gonna have to mount somewhere along here one as well so um, for right now and then right here I'm still concerned a little bit excuse me I'm still concerned a little bit with um, this whole location, because basically right now I'm I mount, mounted everything off of the fact that it's sitting out a little bit. So when I put it uh, close together, will this door still open? And then I don't want to have to uh, move this around; it'll screw up everything. So a uh, little concerned about that. Um, I was saying uh, this right here, the way this is mounted, the way this I've mounted up, this piece here. Um, sits out a good inch and a half, probably two, two and a half inches. So, um, when I put this on here, this is actually going to sit in even closer. So I'm just concerned. I mean, I know I'm probably going to have to trim this up a little bit to make it clear, but, uh, yeah, I'm just, right now I'm just a little worried about that. So right now I'm debating if I want to chop that off there and, uh, just kind of figure that out later and just worry about these bolt holes and then not really do it so it's not really functional um, I would have to make it functional later so I'm trying to figure out if that'll work or not and uh, I was looking at this sorry for I was looking at this when I cut that it's gonna be very difficult to uh, mount anything in there to make this functional if I rip this off so right now I'm trying to figure out what the heck I want to do um, so that's my dilemma right now. So I'm just trying to figure out if I want to whack this hole and kind of go for it or if I should, uh, cut this off and, uh, not really, then it won't really be too functional. I have to figure out something, either, uh, take this back off and then, uh, melt it, melt this piece back on it or something to get this to, uh, fasten on it again. So. Right now, that's kind of what I'm working with. So I'm going to stop the video here for a little bit and uh, just try to figure out what I want to do. And I'll get back with you shortly. Well, guys, I decided I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to try to cut this out here um, the best I can. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, the only thing that it might not fit too well is on the top there. Um, it might stick up just a little bit, but I didn't move it up just the least bit. So uh, hopefully I won't have too much clearancing to do, um, but I figured I want to make this functional. It's stupid. I bought this thing to make it functional and wrap it, uh, cutting that off will just be stupid. I mean, it's basically, it's just for looks then, and I don't want that. I want everything that I put on this thing to uh, be functional. And uh, so I'm just going to wrap, put the hole in it. And then uh, once I get this hole put in, then I'll put the three holes in and then possibly this one right here. 
and then I'll bolt it down and then figure out where this one goes up there and see I'm gonna make these holes that I can um, cock it just a little bit here and there um, and then once that's done I, I'll take this off and I'll figure out where the other um, up here mounting needs to go and uh, cross my fingers and uh, hope it all works out so I'm gonna do this and I'll get back to you with the hole cut well, guys all that uh, worrying and everything um, I'm glad I just put the hole in this fit freaking awesome yeah and I mean it's gonna need to get pulled down and all that good stuff but it sits really really good um, aside from this sticks out just a little bit underneath here which is no big deal um, I'm really happy with it um, I can push this down a little bit um, and it fits really good um, this just needs to get moved up just a least bit um, and then the, the door will clear um, it's just right now it's I need to uh, cut the holes out for it but um, I'm really really happy with this thing it looks freaking awesome I'll try to get back here you can kind of see see what it looks like it just looks so freaking awesome I'm really happy I did it um, and I will have to um, possibly cut more out that way you can get a hose from here into my airbox which the airbox is right here and there is actually a hole right over here that I can tie everything into it is triangle so I'm gonna probably have to uh, make a metal shroud that goes into a probably with a 90 on it that will go into like a four inch hole I believe is what that is over there so and then I'll just run a um, tube that goes over to there and it will be freaking good and as you can see I do need a filter for here so I will probably be ordering a filter from SN, uh, SMB um, which this intake is freaking awesome it utilizes the IET sensor and the MAF sensor um, for this you did have to drill a hole out into the box um, but it freaking works very good um, it's a little louder than stock you can hear the motor a little bit more um, but the fitment on it is perfect and it matches the um, plastic on here which I do apologize my truck is very dirty and then also I did put a oil catch can on this which um, um, I didn't really do a review on that or do a write-up on how to do that um, I just kind of tied into the lines here that went into um, the intake um, I should probably tie it into the onto that side because it, there's still there's no oil catch can on that side which I'd like to uh, make a T and have it all go into this catch can here um, but I did notice that there was a lot less oil in the intake um, as well when I did clean out the throttle body about a couple months ago so but I'm very happy um, with this uh, snorkel um, I'm gonna continue working on it and uh, I'll come back with uh, a little bit more uh, I'm going to set up my camera on the tripod and then show you uh, the finishing touches on it. So, so I got uh, here everything go. uh, center punched here. I'm going to take my bit here and just uh, drill it out. There's one. There's two. And... There's three. So I'm just going to step these up and uh, I will get this done and then I'll uh, show you the next uh, Hey guys, so I got the hardware here. I'm going to uh, try to mount these up and I'm going to do the hardest one first, which would be probably this one. I'll mount that one up and uh, continue working them around. So this should be really fun. Might have to get some longer bolts on some of these. Yeah, it 
looks like I'm gonna have to get all longer bolts for this thing. Okay, so it looks like all three of my holes are all messed up. So, which is freaking awesome. So, I'm gonna have to uh, redo all my holes and uh, figure out what I did wrong and uh, do it again. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go to the store and get longer hardware for here. So, uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna go to the hardware store, come back, and get more hardware. Hey guys, so I uh, got these two holes. Um, the new ones mounted up. Um, I did see these in the uh, store, but of course my luck I got the wrong size So I'm going to return those and get the right size and then plug these two holes up here for the time being And then this hole I just got to figure out the, the location on that and I did um, I didn't do this one yet, but I did put um, some white uh, Paint around that so I'm going to do that one and then it should be pretty good and then I can go up underneath here and um right there and then uh, put in the bolts and uh should be pretty good to go okay guys so uh here is the final result of the uh snorkel putting up put on the truck um it does um rub the slightest right there but i think i will be able to fix that um once i get this um, mounted right here there's a two uh, tabs right here that I got to mount and I'm gonna just cock this up just the least bit and that should help um, I was only able to do the two lower holes um, the top one is just too high um, and I just can't mount it to anything um, so I did kind of screw that up a little bit you can see I did um, right there I didn't cover that the one hole um, but in the future, I will, I do want to take this off and, uh, put, uh, cover the rest up as this does sit outside. So I just don't want to ruin anything with that. So I'll do that. And, uh, I'm thinking about like, uh, trying to make something here, especially down here. There's a big gap here and just kind of cover this all with either like rubber or something and cover in the back here with like rubber that it, it'll um, mat down into that and just kind of that way you don't see you can see up in there you can see that there's a big gap in there and just kind of covers this all up so I'm thinking maybe like a uh, bottom of a uh, the garage door or something like that just to cover this up and then just use silicone on the bottom there just to kind of cover everything up just to make it a little bit better uh, waterproof um, watertight I should say so uh, but there it is um, I'm really happy with it I try to stand back here and just do a little bit better of it but I'm really really happy with it I think it looks freaking awesome um, the lines on it are pretty freaking good um, it's gonna look really nice when I get the uh, roof rack made up on the top there so but I'm really happy with it um, but here's basically how it turned out um, so I'm going to finish this up and I'll try to get some video yet of uh, showing it off. might get um, a little dark, so I might have to do it tomorrow morning before I go to work. So, but it looks like it's a beautiful um, sunset um, on the side of the house there. I can't really show you, but it looks like a beautiful sunset. So, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish this thing up and uh, I'll try to show you the end result. Hey guys, so I got the snorkel put on. I uh, just wanted to kind of show it off here in the daylight. Turned out really good. Uh, got everything mounted up good. So uh, just gonna try to fit it, fix uh, a couple little odds and ends stuff here on it. There's a little gap here. I'm gonna try to figure out. I'm talking to uh, a guy in at work, and he uh, he can uh, weld plastic. He has a plastic welder. So we were thinking about maybe adding that, adding some. Uh, plastic here to kind of fill that in and then put like a piece of rubber here just to kind of do a weather type seal So but just wanted to show, show you uh, the end result here really happy with it and the way it turned out So I uh, just uh, please like and subscribe to my video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye